President Trump addressed the nation for the first time since Iran's retaliation for the U.S. killing a top Iranian military commander. As Natalie Brand reports, this address comes as Iran launched more than a dozen missiles at U.S. troops in Iraq last night. World. The United States is ready to embrace peace with all who seek it. President Trump says Iran appears to be standing down hours after the nation's missile attack on two bases in Iraq where American and coalition troops are stationed. We suffered no casualties. All of our soldiers are safe. A defense official tells CBS News satellite and intelligence info provided hours of warning for troops to shelter in bunkers as the U.S. braced for retaliation over its killing of Iran's top military commander. Soleimani's hands were drenched in both American and Iranian blood. The president, who campaigned on a promise to end U.S. involvement in the Middle East, warned about U.S. strength amid the tensions. Our missiles are big, powerful, accurate, lethal and fast. The fact that we have this great military and equipment, however, does not mean we have to use it. President Trump said the U.S. will put additional punishing sanctions on Iran, and he called on allies to help negotiate a new nuclear deal. We must all work together toward making a deal with Iran that makes the world a safer and more peaceful place. The top Democrat on the Senate Foreign Relations Committee urged the president to choose diplomacy over escalation. I think it's as close to uh, the possibility uh, of uh, seeking a different path with Iran than the president will get in his words. Wednesday, administration officials provided briefings for all members of Congress on the strike that killed General Soleimani. Democrats have called for more transparency about what comes next. Natalie Brand, CBS News, the White House.